Hey, it's the InDesign Junkie, and today we're going to talk about breaks, namely column breaks, frame breaks, and page breaks. Uh, right now we're looking at a two-page spread for a film festival catalog. The name of the festival is called MIF, as you can see in the upper right corner. It stands for the Minot International Film Festival. Minot is a small city in the beautiful state of North Dakota. It's where most of my family is from originally. Uh, before they ended up migrating to the San Francisco Bay Area. And I don't believe that Minot actually has its own film festival. I've designed this just for fun. And in the event, of course, that they decide to host a festival someday, I have a layout waiting for them, if they would like to use it. So let's take a look at this spread and let's talk about breaks. Uh, the way the spread works is that each page uh, consists of its own film title and film description. So here we have a, a frame with the film titled Dandelion Sunshine and linked to this frame is all the other text on the spread. So all these frames slash columns are linked together and I've imported this text. It's the text that the client has given us and I've styled it and now we just have to organize it across columns on um, these two pages. Each column consists of uh, specific information. So of course in this frame here we have just the film title and then this column would consist of credits, film credits. This column would consist of a film description and then this column here would consist of the director bio and then down here we, ha we will have some, uh, some venue date and time information. So of course uh, we don't None of this has been organized. Of course, the the film title for page two is right here. So we're going to uh, lay this out so that all this information is is in its correct place. So let's place our cursor here, and I'd like to move Midwest Premiere and USA down to this column, and let's do this how most people do it by inserting a couple hard returns and that was fairly simple. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to organize this page using just hard returns. So this text is supposed to begin here. I forced it up to the top of column two. I'm going to force this uh, text which begins here to the subsequent column. This is the oops, this is the film director bio and then this is that date, time, and venue information that I was talking about. I'm going to push that down to this frame down here. And I'm going to zoom out. Now that was fairly simple. Um, we, well, actually, see this text reflowed back into column two. So, okay, so I fixed that. And that little error that I just showed you, that reflow error, is exactly the problem with hard returns. That really didn't take very long, although I will have to say that column breaks still t are quicker. Uh, but the problem is, is say we send this off to the client and they mark up the proofs and they return the corrections to us and it's time now to insert corrections. And for these film festival catalogs, there will be many corrections, I guarantee you. All this information is constantly changing. So I'm gonna zoom back in here and let's say that they indicate that they want these two names in the credit list to be removed. So we do that and now we have a reflow problem. All the text or three lines of the text that were in column two have now been flowed back into column one. So what do we have to do? We have to go in and fix that by entering more hard returns. Now say that uh, we need to delete this sentence here. We do that and now we have all kinds of reflow. We have the director bio flowed into this column and look we have the film title from page two uh, actually flowed all the way up into this text column here. So again we have to insert hard returns to fix that. And this can go on and on back and forth for multiple rounds of corrections and each time you're inserting corrections you're having to fix all the reflow issues that result. And not only do you have to make all these changes, changing all, fixing all these hard returns and so forth, you have to take a look at each spread or each page and you have to scrutinize it to make sure that you caught all those reflow issues that occurred and that can be stressful. 
and also time consuming. So what we're going to do now is we're going to deal with the same exact issue in a much more efficient and less stressful way, which is through column breaks. So I just did a whole bunch of undos and I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to place my cursor in front of Midwest Premiere and I'm going to insert a column break. And to do that, I go up to type, insert break character, column break and that pushes that text to the top of the next column. And I'm going to do the same thing now throughout this page. I'm going to place my cursor here. I'm going to go up to type, insert break character, column break. Now I'm going to go here to the director bio and instead of doing it the long way that I just showed you, I'm going to show you the keyboard shortcut which is simply enter on your numerical keypad on your keyboard. Now this isn't the, your standard return key, this is the enter key on your numerical keypad. Press enter and that's like the world's easiest keyboard shortcut. Now of course if you don't have a numerical keypad on your keyboard you can customize your keyboard shortcuts and I'll just show you how to do this quickly. If you go up to edit keyboard shortcuts then you can locate the breaks the column break option in your menu here which would be under type and we'll go to insert break character column break then you can enter a new keyboard shortcut here you can customize your keyboard shortcuts and this applies to just about every single uh, feature that requires a keyboard command in InDesign um, and I will be doing a, a tutorial on this at a later date so anyway uh, but enter is the keyboard this is the default keyboard shortcut I'm going to use that to push this information down to this frame and we've done that page now let's just do this one quickly I'm going to insert enter let's see how fast we can do this I'm going to go here hit enter here and here zoom out and we have a nice two-page spread. Now here's the great thing about breaks. Let's go in and let's make that same exact change where we're going to remove these two credits. And look, no reflow issues. I can go here and I can remove this sentence and I don't have to worry. The base of the column is way down here. That makes no difference because we have a column break which by the way is indicated by this little upside down carrot character here and again the way to see this carrot is you have to make sure that your show hidden characters option under the type menu is chosen right now if I choose that it hides it I always choose show hidden characters I always have that turned on because I like to see all the various hidden characters and I like to see what's going on on the page at all times so that is the wonders and benefits of column breaks. Now let's take a look quickly at frame breaks and page breaks. I've just done this really quick and dirty layout up here on this page. I'm going to go in here. We have a frame. We have a frame with three embedded columns here. And then we have a frame here and a frame here. This is They're all linked together. Now say we want to move this paragraph of text to the top of this column here. Again, I'll just hit enter and that's our column break. But say instead we want to, instead of pushing this text to the top of this column, we want to bypass this column entirely and we want to push it to this frame here, which is a completely new frame. It's, it's, it has nothing to do with this frame or these columns that are embedded in it. And to do that, I go up to type, insert break character and then just choose frame break or you can do shift enter which is the keyboard command frame break it is and there we go it's bypassed that third column entirely and it's uh, pushed the text to the subsequent frame now finally I'll do an undo and we can do our page break which is cor of course is very straightforward there we go that pushes it to the frame on the next page and that is frame and page breaks.